name is Margaret Squires. Um, I am a third year PhD student at the Courtauld and I'm one of the founding members of the Textile Working Group, which is a group made up of PhD students who all work on various topics related to textiles. Um, and today we're going to be talking about some pieces from the Harris Collection, which is something that we've worked on together over the last few years. It's part of the Courtauld Library's collection. Uh, made up of hundreds of fragments of textiles ranging in date from 300 AD up to the 19th century. Um, this collection was assembled by Lionel Harris, who was an art dealer who founded the Spanish Art Gallery in Mayfair in 1898. And this collection made its way to the Courtauld in 1972. So this is one of my favorite pieces in the collection. My PhD is about carpets made in Iran during the Safavid period, so the 16th and 17th centuries. Um, and I was just delighted to find this piece in the Harris Collection. It's a fragment of a carpet woven in Iran in the second half of the 16th century. And it has this beautiful design um, with two birds, this kind of lotus palmette, and behind it a scrolling vine pattern. So there are several things about this carpet fragment that tell us that it is from a very high level of production. So for one thing you can see from the fineness of its design that this was based off of a drawing or a paper cartoon that was probably produced in the Royal Bookmaking Atelier. So this drawing was created and then transferred over to the carpet weavers who rendered it in individually hand-tied knots. So this piece is woven with wool pile. So each little point on here is a single knot. Um, it has a very high knot density, which is one of the things that we look at when doing an analysis of a carpet. So I have analyzed this piece and found that it actually has over 1,200 knots per square inch. Um, so a very high knot density, if you think about that in terms of the entire carpet, this is something that would have taken months to weave. And if we turn it over, you can get a better sense of how dense this weave is. Um, and there are also, interestingly, in the warp, which is the vertical weave direction, silk threads used. So this is something that would have been a more costly material and it also allows for a denser weave. So again, just a sign that this is coming from the highest level of production. So another thing that I really love about this fragment is the colors. So in this period, um, this is completely done using natural dyes, so plant or insect-based dyes. Um, so you can see in the background there's this lovely indigo which ranges from a green to a deeper blue. So that would have been a more expensive imported dye. But then we also have this beautiful range of colors, so we have this orangey red, which is probably a matter, so that's a root and then this more purplish red, which is likely an insect dye. Um, and then we have the white natural sheep color, and then this range of yellows. So the yellow would have been a locally sourced plant dye. Um, but it really has this amazing range of colors, so it's really a, a showcase of not only the weaver, but the dyer's art as well. So this is actually only one of the carpets from Safavid, Iran in this collection. There are also carpets from really the golden age of weaving in Ottoman Turkey and Mughal India. So we have just a really exceptional study collection here at the Courtauld of carpet fragments, um, of which this is just one.